Good morning. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. We hope you're doing well. We're very excited to be here today with you to show you all about the Magpie HEMA free system and to teach you how to succeed when using a HEMA free system such as Magpies. My name is Sarah from Magpie and I'm here with Rena, one of our master educators. Hello, hello. And we are going to be talking through the differences between products that have HEMA and products that don't have HEMA, and really how to succeed with a HEMA-free line, why you would use it, so on and so forth. So if at any time you have any questions regarding HEMA or using a HEMA-free product, uh, questions about adhesion, things like that, please shout them out. We're happy to have that discussion while we are doing this live. Uh, to get started, so this is, today, I, like I said, we are talking about HEMA-free products. So this is what I have on the desk. I am going to clear all of this off and we're gonna go one product at a time and explain how that is going to help you with the longevity and adhesion of HEMA-free products. So let me go ahead and clear the decks and then we can get started. Which, aren't these colors really cute? Oh my gosh, I love. These have been so popular this spring, Red Lobster, Kay. major fave. Literally best red. Absolutely. Tropical hibiscus. I can't so keep it in stock. Cute. Everybody wants that one. And then turquoise tide. I, mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with this, yep. right? Okay. Anyway. So good. I get sidetracked. Okay. Love that. So Whole first collection. thing that you would need. Well, let's quickly, Rena, let's talk about what is HEMA, HEMA and why somebody would choose a HEMA-free product line. HEMA is a chemical that goes into nail products that will help with the adhesion of those nail products. Um, but at the same time, it is also a known allergen in the nail world. So some products that have an excessive amount of HEMA can also potentially cause allergies. Honestly, any product can potentially cause allergies, but it's more right. likely to develop an allergy from a product that has HEMA. So when you have clients that may be sensitive to HEMA, um, it is a good idea to maybe choose a HEMA-free system for those clients specifically, or if you yourself have a sensitivity to HEMA, then you could choose, just choose to work with a HEMA free system all the time. So our Magpie system, we have, there's very, very few products that even have any HEMA at all. Um, I'll grab out one that I know I have here at my desk. Yep. So rubber up is an example of one of ours that does have, I think it's less than 5% mm -hmm. of HEMA. Um, so it does have a smidgen of HEMA in it just for those clients who really do need that extra adhesion. Um, but the majority of our products, they do have no HEMA at all. Velvet, Velvet top, top is also one. Is another one. Mm -hmm. I think it's another less than yep. 1% even. All of our products have less than 5 but it's I believe it's five. like as minimal as possible. Yep. The other one is uh, all about the base, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So those products do have HEMA in them. So some of our products, like Rena just said, mm -hmm. when your client requires something with a little bit of adhesion, a little bit more need for adhesion, mm -hmm. then you would use something like Rubber Up or All About the Base. And they have minimal, minimal, very, very small amount. Yeah. Um, but our typical, our main base that we use 90% of the time mm -hmm. is Get a Grip. And Get a Grip is our bread and butter, our favorite, our best love, ever. Love, love. So this one is a completely HEMA-free base coat. Yes. Okay, so now that we have explained HEMA, no HEMA, why you would choose one versus mm -hmm. the other, then let's go ahead and walk through how people could will succeed with the Magpie HEMA-free line. Yes. So, so there's going to be go... a slightly different prep process because instead of relying on the chemicals in the products to adhere to the nail, you're relying on the prep process and the dehydration of the nail in order to get the products to adhere. Okay. So then really quickly, since I don't have those supplies here, the tools and things, mm -hmm. talk us through a thorough prep. What does that look a like? A thorough prep. So you want to make sure to remove all cuticle and um, any debris from the nail plate. Um, any small amount of skin or cuticle or anything that's still on the nail plate or any oils on the nail plate can cause the products to not adhere properly. The chemistry behind the Magpie products works specifically and best with those, um, with a dehydrated natu uh, natural nail, which is why we have our Prep and Dehydrate paired with our Magpie Primer. So some systems will have like a sticky primer that will work with their system specifically and their chemistry that will help their products stick to that sticky primer. Ours is a little bit different because our chemistry works around dehydrated nails. So we have our prep and dehydrate, which also has primers in it. 
So this is, it's not just like a typical alcohol acetone. It's got more in it that helps with that additional dehydration and ad additional adhesion. And then our primer is also a dehydrating primer rather than a sticky primer, because the more nail, the more that nail is able to be dehydrated, the better your products are gonna stick. That's awesome. Something else about prep and hydrate really quickly before we move on is that it also has, uh, in addition to the alcohol acetone, which is our common thing in the industry. This also has like antimicrobial properties and things like that. That's really going to kill all of the bacteria, dehydrate the nail. It's like multi-purpose. Like you said, it has primers in it. So yes, very key. Now, something really quickly is that you use primer. Mm -hmm, I, do. I don't use primer. Mm -hmm. So what is the benefit to either? If you have clients that do regularly lift, this is just an extra step and an extra help towards that adhesion. It's almost like you're, you have HEMA in your product because it's just that next extra bit of adhesion. Gotcha. Um, so if you feel like your clients are adhering just fine with just scrubbing with prep and dehydrate, then you're great. If you feel like you are getting a little bit more lifting, um, even though you are scrubbing with prep and dehydrate with, for the proper amount of time and things like that, then you can just throw a quick primer step in there. It'll help them dehydrate just that much more. And then the product's going to stick just a little bit better. Excellent. Great information. Uh, let's talk about how we cleanse a nail plate really quickly with our prep and hydrate. Yes. So when you are... Here's a... Yep. Here's a gauze. So for my desk. do you have a swatch stick? I can pretend I have a nail. Boy, do I. Um, so when you are prepping the nail plate, you want to remove the shine from the nail plate. Um, remove all of the cuticle and any kind of debris that is on, on the nail. Um, and then once you feel like your nail plate is completely uh, etched and the shine is completely removed, you will dust off all of the excess dust and debris that's on the nail from that removal and, and that, um, that etch with a dry manicure brush. You mm -hmm. don't want to drench your manicure brush in the prep and dehydrate because any type of overexposure to chemicals can cause problems. So I'm going to stop you right there just so that we can have a visual so that people can understand, right? So when people are dunking their manicure brush mm -hmm. in the liquid and then scrubbing, scrubbing like this, all, over. all of the overspray is landing on the client's hand, right? Yep. So that is creating an opportunity for rashes or exactly. overexposure, right? So this is not ideal versus what she will be doing. Right, so you're gonna just dust it off, get all of the dust off with a dry manicure brush, and then we're gonna take this and we're going to dunk it in the prep and dehydrate. Um, I like to fold mine in fourths, so I have a nice strong corner right here, and then I will take it up and around the edges and around the cuticle to make sure I get, if there's any more dust that's stuck up in there, I will take it around like that. And then I will scrub the whole nail plate for about five to 10 seconds per nail, just to make sure all of that prep and dehydrate gets just really scrubbed in there. And we can dehydrate that nail as much as possible, get as much of the oils and all the extra debris off as possible. Excellent, thank you. Okay, so then moving on, we've talked about our prep and hydrate and our primer. Next mm -hmm. up is our lovely, most favorite, Get A Grip. Get A Grip. Get A Grip comes in, I have pink right here. That's one of the colors that I just had at my desk because I really do like the tone of it. But I actually mostly prefer clear mm -hmm. for my clients. Um, however, a lot of people love a colored base, and this comes in multiple colors Lots with a range from cool tone to warm tone and everything in between. So there are different options for Get A Grip. And fun fact, you can actually mix the Get A Grip colors. Oh, I do that. Cute. I will put them because I always work That's out a of a pot idea. anyway. Right. So if the pink has a little bit too much pink or the buff is a little bit too nude for you or whatever, you can, or if they're too opaque. Even you can add clear, you can mix, you know, pink and naked and, you know, whatever together yeah. to make the exact make right shade that you want. What they need. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a yep. really, really great tip. Yep. Um, so she was saying that she likes to rock, work out of a pot. Here is mm -hmm. my clear. And then I would use the bristles from my clear mm -hmm. and I would pick up a bead and then work that way. That's how I prefer to work. I like working with that too, because when you pull your brush out of the bottle, you've got product kind of going all the way back to there. But if you have, if you just have your empty brush, then you can pick up a bead of product and that bead is concentrated right on the end of the brush. Mm -hmm. So you know exactly how much you're picking up. You know exactly where it is on the brush. You can manipulate it easier. You can move it around easier. I always like working out of the pot because I feel like I have a lot more control over the product. 
from picking it up all the way to laying it on the nail. That's awesome. That was a really great visual. Okay, so why do we love Get a Grip? I feel like it has the best of adhesion of anything. Even when I have worked with products with HEMA, I feel like I get so much more adhesion with the Get a Grip when you're prepping it correctly. Mm -hmm. um, I love the self-leveling quality of it. It just self-levels so beautifully. It creates a really beautiful apex. Um, it's just... It's a dream. My bread and butter. I love, love, <laughs> love it. Literally grab it for every client. Yep, I do too. Yep. And then when the next step to this, this one is optional. Depending on your client's needs, you would use Give Me Strength. Give Me Strength. I have Princess here. It's actually really, really pretty. Princess is way cute. It's so cute. I also love Baby Sham so mm -hmm. very much. Uh, but it does come in clear. It comes in multiple colors. You could use this as the color of the manicure, or this could be the strengthening structure layer mm -hmm. of your manicure. So there is some play with these two products where you could use this one for structure and just a little bit of strength, or this one as a base coat, and then this one as your structure. But when you pair these two together, it just has a really great, uh, it's like a really great structure layer. I don't mm -hmm. know how else to say. It's the perfect duo. Yeah, it's the perfect duo. It allows natural nails to just stay healthy and strong. Both of these products are HEMA free. Typically, if I'm working just with Get a Grip, it's for clients that maybe have fingertip length nails, uh, maybe just slightly above fingertip length. Um, you don't have to build as much of an apex. You can still give it a little bit of structure and strength, um, but you don't need a lot, right? So I would use the Get a Grip for just those clients. And then if I have clients that have a little bit longer natural nails, um, I would do a kind of a juicy structure layer of the Get a Grip, and then I would add some Give Me Strength on top. That's the way I do it. Actually, that's the way that I do it too. I also prefer to do that. However, I do know many techs who prefer to put a scrub layer of Get a Grip, mm -hmm. and then they're using all of the structure layer with Give Me Strength. So it really is customizable mm -hmm. to your client's nails, their needs, how flexible their nails, their nails are, how much strength they need, so on and so forth. Yep. Um, it's important to keep in mind that Give Me Strength is not a base coat on its own. Yes. Um, this one, it does require a base coat to go underneath it. Whether you decide that your client needs that extra adhesion, so you're going to pull in rubber up because it has a tiny bit of HEMA, you can still use Give Me Strength on top of it. Yes. But it cannot be used on its own. It doesn't have any adhesion properties at all, and it doesn't even adhere to the natural nail at all. So you do need to have a base coat under it. Yes. But paired together, mm -hmm. so chef's kiss. Next up, we uh, moving along in our manicure, you would come in with your color layer. Mm -hmm. Now, Magpie has over 200 colors, ranging from, of course, nudes, shears, all of the brights, uh, glitter shimmers, colors, glitters, shimmers, yep, yep. All, of the, all of the pieces that you would need. And so these, all of our colors are HEMA-free. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you this one. It's been so popular it's for so good. Valentine's Day. Like, dang it, that's so cute. And it's I so love... Fun. The consistency, I love the color, I love it. And then Red Lobster has also been equally as popular. It is just such a good red. It's just like that middle neutral ground red. It's not Beautiful. a blue red, it's not an orange red, it's just right in the middle. Yep, just so right pretty. in the middle, very neutral, gorgeous. And then Turquoise Tide. I think people are like wanting it to be spring. Uh -huh. All of these colors just point toward a beautiful springtime mm -hmm. coming. So yes, yep. all of these colors, absolutely gorgeous. So good. And keep in mind your gel color at least in the magpie system because magpie gel colors are 100 percent gel they do sort of add to the overall strength of the manicure because they're not there's not any air dry polish in them at all they're all 100 percent gel so they really do just add just that much more to the overall strength and durability of the manicure yes which is awesome love it uh another thing that has come to my mind is that i want to point out the importance of curing these products properly. Mm -hmm. All of the Magpie products are a 60 second cure. So mm -hmm. it is imperative that you are curing these properly for them to not cause any issues or have any premature wear. And or... with a really strong light. You want to yes. make sure that it's, there are some lights that are not curing at the same nanometer level. So just make sure your light is curing at the proper, the proper level in Correct. order to get them all the way cured. Then the last step of our HEMA-free manicure would be our top coat. So this is top it off. This is our no wipe top coat. This is ideal for chrome and things like that. Like a diamond is a beautiful, very shiny top coat. This one does have a very slight inhibition layer. I found that with this top coat, you do need to cleanse it with our cleanser, the Magpie cleanser. This has oils in it, so it actually helps 
really shine up this like a diamond. It's so absolutely you gorgeous. Do not want to use this on the natural nail when you are prepping oh. because it does have those oils in it. So prep, this is prep. Finish. This is wiping off the wet cure of the like a diamond. So important. And uh, just personal information is that the other day I was doing my client's nail and she accidentally bumped one of her nails going into the lamp and then it cured all the way. So I had to do a little bit of finish filing and then I had to cleanse. So I went in with prep and to hydrate because you can't go in with a cleanser and then put top coat on because it will pit and be a nightmare. Mm -hmm. So just FYI, when you're cleansing off something, we use prep and hydrate. When we are finishing at the very end after a top coat, then you would use cleanser. So the okay. cleanser is just to clean off the inhibition layer of this wet cure yes. on Like a Diamond. Um, I do want to say about Like a Diamond, the inhibition layer is, I don't know how to say, like it's very fine. It's very, it's yeah. very like There's so almost easy just to just wipe off. Yep. We don't have to be scrubbing. You don't want to um, push up onto the skin because we don't want those uncured gels to sit on the skin. So it is literally just a very easy wipe. You're taking off the inhibition layer and then it is shiny as can be. Yep. All right. So just a quick recap. All of these products are available at magpiebeautyusa.com. And this is in, this is all products that will help you succeed with a HEMA-free manicure. So first we start with our prep and hydrate and that's after a proper prep of the nail plate. Then we cleanse with prep and hydrate. You can go in with primer. This is not required, but if your client requires just a little bit more help with the adhesion, then just a little, very, very little bit on the Small nail plate. Primer, yep. Let it fully dry. Then you'll go in with your base coat. In this case, we've chosen to talk about get a grip. You can use a structure layer if you choose, which is with give me strength. Go in with your favorite gel colors and then finish it off with your top coats. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Again, you can get all of these products at Magpie Beauty USA. And as always, if you ever have any questions regarding Magpie products, please feel free to contact us. We're always happy to help in any way we can. Always happy to answer questions. Absolutely. Have a good one. Bye.